It is that time of the year again where we start looking at the next FIFA. Well, I say that. The next game that EA are making and producing, which is obviously, as you know, going to be called EAFC 24. Now, in this video today, we've got some, we've got our first proper sort of teasers about what is going to go down during EAFC. Um, we've seen the ultimate cover, ultimate edition cover, which we'll be looking at, and we've also got a trailer um, which EA have produced. Okay, then, so as you can see here, we have got the official announcement trailer. So what we're going to do, we're going to deep dive into We're going to look at some things, talk about some things that EA are adding into EAFC 24. Um, now, obviously, this is the actual, like, first game that EA have produced, really, that isn't named FIFA. You know, FIFA's been going on for some years, and people are sort of thinking, what is this going to be? Is it going to be like FIFA? Is it going to be completely different to FIFA? Is it going to be... Obviously, it will be, like, the same sort of... Um, things that you're going to have career mode, I expect, ultimate team and that. So it's still going to be FIFA as you know it, uh, but it's just another name really. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be the last time I play FIFA as it is, it won't be. This is literally the exact same as what we're playing right now, but just with a different name as EA and uh, FIFA no longer are like together. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, here we go, EAFC. 30 years Sunset. of packing the stands and putting you on the pitch. But it's time to get closer. Go on, Pep. Let me talk. Oh, let me talk. There he is. Let me talk. Let me sit down. Nobody talk. Is he doing one of them? Well, that's Hun Min Son. Kevin De Mate, that kit, by the way, is incredible. This is that a whole got. different game. One that spirit can't be broken. Okay, so how, as you know, or you may not know, uh, EA have uh, introduced um, women into Ultimate Team. So you're going to have female players in your ultimate team. And they have combined them with the male players. And you can have, say you can have Sam Kerr up front and then you can have Mbappe up front. You can use a female and a male uh, striker partnership. Same with defender, same with anything. So I kind of like that to be fair for me, eh? Um, I like it. It's a new addition, something new. They're trying something new. That's all I'm really worried about. You know, I, I like the fact that you're yeah, doing something different to like recent years. Because if I'm honest with you, I feel like FIFA just needed a different sort of... You know, you go... It just feels like it's been the same for like the last... I would say since FIFA 19. So I just hopefully this year, or next year, sorry, is a year where EA just make it just completely different and just make it unique. That is what I would love from EA Sports. Okay, so another thing I want to pick out, as you can see here on Zinedine Zidane's logo, it does say UT. So as you may know, what well, you should know really, the main abbreviation of foot is FIFA Ultimate Team. And obviously with EA not having the name FIFA in their brand anymore, they're going to have to change that. Now, that sort of gives me an impression that the UNT, meaning Ultimate Team, is still going to be in the game next year. Um, but just not the F, meaning FIFA. Now... I have seen things where maybe it is going to be called Football Ultimate Team. So the blue version of foot will still be a thing in a FIFA uh, or EFC 24. So that probably explains that uh, the Ultimate Team is still going to be the exact same next year. Let's get on with the more the trailer. More like milestones. Better than walking. Like making a Eric Dyer behind Robertson. Never thought I would see that. A dream move, a reality. Super Jackie Grealish. Where's better than walking to here? We're setting a bar for the next generation to be. Well, I never thought I would see David Beckham greet Jude Bellingham in a change room in all my life. But fair, we'll see the closer those, you yeah. get, the more you start to feel a bit of magic. The kind of okay. So as you can see here, okay, I've seen a lot of people talk about this. Insigne, who is five foot four, and then Christian Benteke is about six foot three. Um, Fares, I mean, they're both the same size. Phil Foden's there chatting to Greenwood and uh, Chloe Kelly, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, um, I like that to be fair. I love our kit, by the way. Our kit is incredible. And there's Sam Kerr, as I was talking about earlier on. Um, Inspires generations, gives us legends to learn from, and pushes us to become better. It dares us to take risks, and we back those who do the same. Madison and the Tottenham shirt, that's fresh. Now, here we go. It's our first sort of sneak peek at gameplay. Now, this isn't official, but this is our first sort of what it's going to be like in FIFA or EAFC. And that is Manuel Akanji being absolutely... Right, right, 
Let's just stop it here already. How is that realistic? Let's just let's just go back here actually. Man with a candy, she's been absolutely skint. Can't believe it. You can oh, it is the main man himself. Early. Any color. McAllister with his Liverpool. Now this could be our first sort of glimpse at like Korea, maybe. All you gotta do is play. Gym work. That's what Maldini. brings us closer. Closer to each other. And closer to the world's game. I don't need to tell you that though. You're part of this. Always have been. And you're in good company. And there you have it. That is what the Ultimate Edition cover is. Um, now, let me know what you think about that trailer. Now, I honestly think the gameplay looks very good. Um, but that's just our first glimpse. We obviously get gameplay trailer coming out in a few weeks. Um, I've seen a lot of people say about the faces of players. Um, that's meant to be Saka. That's meant to be Ronaldinho. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be the final sort of 100% game phase, whether EA is still going to sort of tweak it a bit. But that does not look nothing like Saka. And that looks nothing like Ronaldinho. And that looks nothing like Marcus Rashford. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I actually do like it. I, I like the, you know, addition. I like the addition of female players and male players in the same team. Uh, I will just go and get up the actual Ultimate Edition cover. That is similar. Uh, but I will just go and get it up for you. So if you haven't seen it, you can see it now. Uh, but yeah, what do you think about the trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally like it. I'm very excited now for EAFC 24. Like, now when you get all these trailers, you just want it to be here. Like, oh, I actually can't wait. I actually can't wait. Please just come round September quick. Okay then, so here is the Ultimate Edition cover. So as you can tell, EA have sort of put a mixture, you know, of players in. Now the key players you want in here, who you could pick out, Mbappe, uh, Salah, been on recent covers, Mbappe's really been on the most covers. So whether the abbreviation of FIFA has made that change, who knows. But uh, let me know what you think of the Ultimate Edition cover. I, I actually do like, like it. I, I just like the sort of vibe, if that makes sense. I mean, you could say that the players, and like I said, the players' faces look nothing like them. Like, that is Saka, that's Rashford. Even Haaland doesn't look, you know, like him in real life, I'm honest with you. That's Leah Williamson. Uh, Jude Bellum don't know where the camera is, bless him. But, you know, I just like the idea, I like the concept. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. The Ultimate Edition cover. Um, but, yeah, that's that, really. That's the first real sort of teaser we've got for EAFC. As I said, 13th of July, uh, EA Sports are bringing out another trailer. So, I'll be doing a, a reaction to that. Uh, so make sure you drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Uh, the Rise of Newcastle United video will uh, also be out tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, I'm about to go live after I've just recorded this. So if you want to watch me do it live, the link will be in the description down below to my Twitch. We're almost at 1k followers, so go make sure you follow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. See you in a bit.